Okay, so now I want to talk to you about my mom's father, my papa, Douglas Gell. You know, I think that if we're lucky in life, we have one or two people that really make us feel loved, that, that really make us feel like the most special people in the world. And that, for me, one of those people was my papa. And ever since a young age, I just remember how special he made me feel. You know, he picked me up from school and his pickup truck, and I used to get so excited. And he'd pick me up and we'd go get takeout from whatever favorite place we wanted to get takeout from. And then he would take me to the Red and White. I remember the name of the grocery store, little convenience store, the Red and White. And I'd get a slushy and a pack of gum and maybe some chips or something like that. But he always made me feel so special. And I hope that you have had one or two or maybe more, but very often in life we only get one or two of them, people that just make us feel like the most special person in the world. And, and that was my papa. He made me feel so special. You know, my papa was a bit of an anomaly in many ways because he grew up, he served in the army, he was a New York State trooper, so, you know, kind of the man's man, very uh, strong-willed individual in many ways. And he struggled with alcohol use, which I think eventually led to many aspects of his body failing. But as it related to his interactions with me and at least my memories of him was he was the guy that would just light up the room. So much energy, he would sing, he was, he was in many ways a performer. And believe it or not, I saw him cry. I saw him cry get teary-eyed uh, on more than one occasion and it was very often when he would be giving speeches I particularly remember speeches at my aunt and uncle's uh, weddings and I would remember him really tearing up and but I mean, just a larger than life character very tall big old big old belly and you know New York straight state trooper right I mean this this is a guy that you would you know if you first looked at him you would think wow here's here's a pretty tough guy but he would cry and he would really allow himself to get in touch with his emotions and you know I don't think that he was always that way and I'm sure that if you ask my aunt and uncles or my grandmother, they would probably not maybe describe him that way for a period of time in his life. And I think that with the death of my mother, his daughter, he saw an opportunity in me to honor her, to love her, to you know, really, here I am, her offspring, right? And a way to kind of carry on her memory. And I think that for those reasons, he was able to connect more into his heart. It was almost kind of like, and we never had a discussion about this, but the feeling that I got was almost like, you know, he loved me so much, and by loving me so much, he was able to give that love to my mom, who he was never going to be able to love again because she was no longer here. And that was a beautiful aspect. Again, I didn't realize any of this. I was young as a kid, and he died when I was 12 or 13 years old. But I remember the feeling. I remember that feeling of how he loved me. And I wouldn't say that he was overly emotional necessarily, but he definitely loved me from his heart and interacted with me from his heart. 
and I felt that and I think that's part of the reason why I know that he was one of the people that I was so blessed to have in my life that made me feel that special I don't think that he could have made me feel that special if he wasn't loving me from my heart from his heart so deeply and I share that with you because I think that my papa learned that lesson very later on in his life of what it means to love somebody from the heart and allow yourself to really connect into your heart when you open yourself up to people. And so for all of you men out there that are struggling to open up your heart, struggling to give yourself permission to love at a deep level, I want to let you know what a tremendous impact that you will make in the people's lives that you love by loving them, by being open from your heart and connecting with them. You're giving them an opportunity to feel like the most special person in the world. And that's so beautiful, so beautiful. And so few people in this world have one or two of those people in their lives. So guys, if we can have an opportunity to love from our heart, to make somebody in our life feel that special, that's a beautiful thing. And as I've been saying all along throughout, right? Big boys do cry. Man, when we can get in touch with our emotions, life gets pretty good. And I think one of the most beautiful examples of that is that as we become more in touch with our emotions, we can love people at a deeper level. And how good that can make other people feel and how good it can make us feel. But you know, knowing how good it can make other people feel to love them at that deep level, that's amazing.